Aaron Trapped, Magua here, and that guy gets another Legends of Runeterra for you guys. Today, it is still I, Magua, from the past, talking to you towards the future. I don't know if I need to say the last part, to be honest. It's just I'm kind of like improvising this. But yeah, I am still, you know, in a world in which the patch has not happened and uh, the, the new cards have not been released. But I am... I am informed of everything that I need to know. So while today's deck is from the prior patch, I'm going to let you know if there have been any changes in the patch or any of the new cards that could benefit this sort of deck. So today we're going to talk about a Shadow Elves deck that I made that has no Soul Cleave. I know you thought I would never be capable of it, but I did it, guys. I built a Shadow Elves deck without the one and only soul cleave and it is a spicy one at that because what we have here ladies and gentlemen is an ephemeral deck what i wanted to do was i wanted to build a deck with the black flame you know this is a sick ass landmark and i it took me way too long to really get into it two mana for myonia that says on palm play you capture an ally which means whatever you capture you put it into the landmark and it disappears and then when you attack for the first time each round, you summon an ephemeral copy of it attacking. So the idea is to combine the Black Flame with the Shark Chariot Engine. We want to be able to capture sharks or other ephemerals, attack, and then have more and more sharks come out until we win. That is the basic objective of this deck. I'm actually really proud of the distributions here because ultimately what, what, we, end up, uh, what we end up having here is... Cards like Sapling Toss allow us to not only enable the Nightfall from Moonland Glenkeeper, but also gives us the ability to set up turns in which we try our very best to navigate around the biggest weakness Ephemeral's decks have had since the dawn of Legends of Runeterra, and that is lack of defense, right? Lack of having an actual board to block with and, and protect your Nexus. That is our biggest downside. Our offensive is scary as hell. But then we're kind of like a bit of a glass cannon. So in order to stop that from happening, Sapling Toss can spawn uh, an ephemeral unit to block with at the beginning of a round start or a challenger to train to something uh, from the opponent. And then on top of that, we have the stage hand, which is amazing for ephemeral decks because it gives us an ephemeral that allows us to defend against anything that's not an open attack or also set up a stronger attack ourselves. Very, very, very good card that also works really well with death mark for five mana. We can just remove any threat as well, combining these two together. As then we have a 2-2-2 champion split, Kalista, Zed, and Maokai. They all provide different things for the deck they're all pretty essential and they all work really well together but a lot of times the signature spells from for, especially from zed and maokai are not something that i'm particularly crazy about so it's very nice to be able to go with a 2-2-2 champion split so we have a less chance of drawing into those bad signature spells and actually get good quality out of the draws that we get speaking of draws we got field musicians i, I know there's a new card for shadow isles um in fact i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna hover over like the the new the new cards here just to make sure that i have everything covered um there's the the grave companion is the new card that would fit this deck unless you want to count beguiling cobra but i don't think there's a deck for it nor definitely not the bird either uh the grave companion is a card that's actually very similar to field musicians but field musicians still fits this deck better than grave companion even though Grave Companion um, allows you to draw one every turn, this will allow us to refill our spell mana, and it's very it's a very easy requirement for us to meet with this kind of deck, especially once we start uh, chaining the value, right? And it starts snowballing. As, uh, you know, we just need to summon three every turn. Easy to do with Maokai, by the way. As uh, we will be able to cycle through our deck and keep uh, playing spells, and it's very neat in com combination with Dragon Ambush. Dragon Ambush is the main reason this deck exists. Uh, it allows Black Flame to net you tremendous value because you can go for an attack on turns in which you don't attack with an Ionian Shadow Owls region combination, which is not something that you would expect from, from those two regions combined. And uh, allowing us to go for a free attack uh, triggers the uh, Black Flame, brings back the Shark Chariots. And once we've completed our setup, uh, we reach a point in which every attack that we generate just fills the board from nothing with Ephemerals, and just becomes completely overwhelming towards the opponent and we reach we essentially the objective of this entire strategy is to make it to a point where our offense is so ridiculous that we don't need defense 
it becomes our defense. That is the ephemeral way, ladies and gentlemen. As we got sign in to give us a little bit of extra card draw, a great synergy with the Black Flame as well. Uh, it makes it so that this ephemeral deck will not run out of gas, just really hype. And there's just a lot of really six places in this deck. We have a right distribution of, you know, fast speed interaction as well with Concussive Palm, which can be very, very clutch. We got some lifesteal potential with Dark Bar Scourge that can be brought back by Callista. And ultimately, it's a deck that just flows, man. It just really flows super well. And it is just fun as hell to play. Like, it is an absolute blast. And I'm really, really, really happy about today's game. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. Regarding that, um, I mentioned the cards. But regarding the um, buffs and uh, nerfs that happened, uh, I, I let, let me double confirm here. But I believe that none of them affect this deck specifically. Yep, the, no, none, nothing in the patch will affect this deck. It's just uh, considering Grave Companion, but uh, me letting you know that uh, Field Musicians is still the way to go. And I'll be messing around with that, that doggo soon. Don't you worry. As soon as I get back. So, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the Legend of Ontario content. Hope you enjoy the games. Leave a like for Ephemerals and the Black Flame. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, no, I, I, I opted not to run Eclipse be uh, Glimpse because we're, we're playing the uh, Sidon. Moonlight Glenkeeper was arguably the MVP there. In this kind of matchup, Stagehen is going to find utility. Uh, Mark of the Owls, I mean... I'll keep, honestly. I'm gonna get rid of the elusive. The lifesteal is also annoying, but the elusive can be really problematic. It's unfortunate. Now, now I get a a chump blocker here. <laughs> You're gonna take your own damn medicine. Melodies to rouse hearts and steady hands. Wait, sir, where you at? I don't know if to prioritize Zed or Callista. Um, I'm still learning, but I'll help if I can. Arda's gonna make a meal of them.
here is where we make our stand. We have something the void will never understand. Me. Me. We are at the threshold of something great. Embrace your fate as I have mine. Accepting my methods. We, we shall not rest until all of its rays. They should play Callista first, but it doesn't, doesn't matter as much. Still don't trade. They follow the wrong master. I will make this right. I want to keep uh, recycling the stagehand, so we're going to make uh, use of the shadow shift to return it to our hand, and we're going to draw with uh, the field musicians, and we're going to try to keep as much of a backline as we can. Finder. Vengeance! Challenging, bruh. <laughs> Play on. The Isles will bloom again. If we seek forgiveness, we must commit all. Our purpose calls to us. We cannot turn away. Forgive me. We got the setup here. Oh my god, get get greedy. Get greedy. Get greedy, I I dare I dare you. 
get greedy, Remy. is this Jarvan I was born in Belveth I cannot leave I just get a stall. Get rid of the scout. We love it when they run. All right, come at me, bro. Clock's ticking. Two cards left. Like he has his challenge with the 5 3 now. That means he has no other attacks. <laughs> They're going to need a bigger boat. Let's go! <laughs> Yu Gi Oh! Is Kalista good? She just seems to take aggro. Could you elaborate as to what taking aggro means? I like the sapling toss here. Guys, guys, we have the black flame shark cherry combo, okay? I need you to not I need you to not panic on me, but it's happening. So again, we're not going to... Uh, actually, yeah, we are going to shark tear it on curve. <laughs> Guys, this is the nuts. We have officially drawn the nuts. To serve, the greater good. serve this. Freezing us off. 
Take this shot or lose the chance. I don't want to reveal my last play. Oh. Come on, you sorry lot. All right. How do you know what room we can is? Yeah, if they kill the sapling, I don't know if we're dead immediately, but... No! We gave her to Samira. That's a, that's a huge, that's a huge like thing for us. Dark times come and go. We play on. Musicians, if they want to combine this with like a mystic shot to clear this, you know, it's fine. No need to make a name for myself. Just, Just an, an impression. impression. All right. This should be fun. Finally, some real work. I want to keep this out of mystic shot range. If you do not have a part to play. Take one. I'm going to stun the uh, augmented clockling. It's the least uh, it's the it's the least nuisance here. Got to love that draw. Field musicians and we got the death mark. Double shark. I will make this right. No stopping me now. Steel's too good for you. Bim bit up a bidding. Dun 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 No stopping me now. The sisters are of you. It's risky. Oh boy, that's not gonna cut it. GG. No re! <laughs> oh, mega wrecked. We have the Dark Water Scourge with Callista. So let's try that. We have the black flame. Okay. But that means turn five. Unless we want to death mark the scourge here.
Yeah, musicians with Moonlit Glenkeeper is is just. I see every move. It's just the tits. Black Flame will allow me to trigger the Field Musicians. I still have the Death Mark enabled. The thing is, if I do this now, I get to do it for free, essentially. They get a free block, but I, I get, like, tempo-wise, this death mark comes for free. Is this a challenge? I should have sapling tossed. We fight till we're ragged, then we fight again. Last not. Take a look at the standard list. How greedy are they? Eh, not very. Except the nigh. I'm gonna prioritize Deathmark though, because because that way I can play Callisto's turn. Valerio, think of the prime. Yeah, this is this is a this is this setup took a took a while. But now, now we reap what we sowed, man. And like the, the lifesteal from Dark Water Scourge and the draw buys us the time that we need. How about that Maokai? Oh, that's still got a way to go. But now we got, we got Dragon Ambush, which is just insane here. Like actually insane. Oh, that's another Jarvan. Okay. Bro, like no matter what, I just, I just cannot get this to level up. But I mean, I mean, that's pretty nuts, right? Yeah. <laughs> the ambush with the night backup, baby. Who dares defy my will? Me. Okay. Uh 
Oh, you know who's coming in. Because we want to open attack here. Let's get it. Endless value. Value town. You can try all the barriers you want. All the barriers you want, bro. I'm gonna keep drawing. I'm just, I'm just, I'm a fan. I, I like to draw cards. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Guys, don't judge me for this, but I'm I'm going I'm going full greed mode. I am I am greeting like you've never seen anybody greed before. Yeah, that that seems good. Do not test me. It's all right. <laughs> I'm the good guy. Alright, shrooms. Well, this matchup will be will be interesting. I want to keep the dragon ambush right off the bat, to be honest. Ah, but this is this hand is too heavy, right? I'm actually gonna mulligan. I, I I want the sharks. There we go. Fabio. Oh shit. Our opponent's Fabio. I, I don't know who Fabio is, but it's, it's a very impressive name, so I'm, I'm already intimidated. Guys, we got a Maokai. Oh no, oh no, he's here. The demon is here. I'm not gonna play Shark Chariot uh, because I, I want to keep the uh, the Black Spear open with Callista. That that'll be very important. I need my mana, basically. Ooh, double! Oh my god. I'm gonna play my champions. Okay. The bombs are coming. But surely you won't draw one now, right? Not immediately, no way. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> 
kill it with fire. You all betrayers. We gotta kill the rat. We got some stuns now. If they don't open attack, no flash. Just chill with the flash mob. Bro, bro, relax. Officer J S Hawklaw. We are at the threshold of something great. Our purpose calls to us. We cannot turn away. I mean, drawing is kind of risky here, but it's not. Nah, it's fine. And a one, two, three. Forgive me. A tune of courage for our companions. Oh, thank me later. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. Take your pardon. If you do not have a part to play, take one. Embrace your fate as I have mine. Observe and go. Yeah, that's rough because like the drawing actually worked against me. I'm pretty sure I think I could have played that differently though But but we got shroomed Okay, Maokai is gonna be very important here. I'm gonna move away everything else including the concussive palm Even though it could be really useful Because I have a lot of challengers and I gotta make use of them like the, these these sapling tosses and everything are gonna be really Very reliable in a matchup like this Arigatogozaimas! The problem is this can't block, so my opponent can't effectively, like, ignore it. And I want this Shark Chariot dead. I don't like this. Rooster of Slavic Origin! Think of the two buttons. I 
ありがとうございますアイパスで、because if they just sit with these two, I'm okay with that. If you do not have a part to play, take one. Because now, now we're gonna try to clean up. It it would be nice to uh to get a deny though. Big hit. <laughs> Top meta deck defeated.